Welcome students. Today we are going to see part 2 of week number 11. In week number 11, we are going to see the topics of the first one is vernier bevel protractor. And the second topic is dial vernier caliper. Now we are going to see the first topic, vernier bevel protractor. Let's see the objectives of this topic. You shall be able to state the construction of vernier bevel protractor. State how graduations are made on a vernier bevel protractor. Read vernier bevel protractor measurements. State the uses and care of a vernier bevel protractor. Now, see the construction of vernier bevel protractor. The vernier bevel protractor is a precision instrument meant for measuring angles to an accuracy of 5 minutes. And the next, we are discuss about the parts of vernier bevel protractor. The parts are stock, dial, blade and locking screws the first part is stock this is one of the contacting surfaces during the measurement of an angle preferably it should be kept in contact with the datum surface from which the angle is measured dial the dial is an integrated part of the stock it is circular in shape and the edge is graduated in degrees. The next part is blade. This is the other surface of the instrument that contacts the work during measurement. It is fixed to the dial with the help of the clamping lever. A parallel groove is provided in the center of the blade to enable it to be longitudinally positioned whenever necessary. And the last part is Locking screws. Two knurled locking screws are provided. One to lock the dial to the disc. And the other to lock the blade to the dial. Let's see the graduations on universal bevel protector. For purposes of taking angular measurements, the full circumference of the dial is graduated in degrees. The 360 degrees are equally divided and marked in four quadrants from 0 degree to 90 degrees, 90 degrees to 0 degree. Every tenth division is marked longer and numbered. Each division represents one degree. The graduations on the dial are known as the main scale divisions. On the disc, 23 divisions spacing of the main scale is equally divided into 12 equal parts on the vernier. Each third line is marked longer and numbered as 0, 15, 30, 45, 60. This constitutes the vernier scale. Similar graduations are marked to the left of 0 also. Let's see the Calculation of the least count of vernier bevel protector. When the zero of the vernier scale coincides with the zero of the main scale, the first division of the vernier scale will be very close to the second main scale division. Hence, the least count is 2 msd minus 1 vsd. That is, the least count is equal to 2 degree. The next we are going to discuss about the reading of universal bevel protector. The first one is reading for acute angle setup. First, read the number of whole degrees between 0 of the main scale and 0 of the vernier scale. Note the line on the vernier scale that exactly coincides with any one of the main scale divisions and 
determine its value in minutes. Let's see the example for acute angle setup. 10 into 5 inches is equal to 50 inches. Total up both the readings to get the measurements is equal to 41 degree 50 inches. If you read the main scale in an anticlockwise direction, read the vernier scale also in an anticlockwise direction from zero. And the second is reading for obtuse angle setup. The vernier scale reading up is taken on the left side as indicated by the arrow. The reading value is subtracted from 180 degree to get the obtuse angle value. Let's see the example for obtuse angle. Reading is equal to 22 degree 30 inches. Measurement 180 degree minus 22 degree 30 inches is equal to 157 degree 30 inches. Now we are going to see uses of vernier bevel protractor. Apart from being used for measuring angles, a vernier bevel protractor is also used for setting work holding devices on machine tools, work tables, etc. The vernier bevel protractor is used to measure acute angles than 90 degree and obtuse angles more than 90 degree. For setting work holding devices, to angles on machine tools, work tables, etc. And last, we are going to see the care and maintenance of vernier bevel protractor. Clean the vernier bevel protractor before use. Loosen the locking screw of dial to move the blade according to the angle measurement. While taking a measurement, apply light pressure on vernier bevel protractor. Heavy pressure will force the two scales out of parallel and show the false reading. After using vernier bevel protractor, wipe it clean and apply a thin coating of oil and keep it in safe place. With the remembrance of Vernier Bevel Protractor Topic We are going to play a quiz game. The question is What is the part marked as X? The options are A. Dial B. Stock C. Blade D. Locking screws And the answer is A. Dial. After the completion of vernier bevel protractor, the next topic is Dial vernier caliper. The objective of this topic, you shall be able to state the construction of Dial vernier caliper. Read vernier, Dial vernier caliper. State the care of a Dial vernier caliper. First, we are going to see the definition of dial vernier caliper. A dial caliper is a direct reading instrument which resembles the vernier caliper. It is faster and easier to read a dial caliper than to read the traditional vernier caliper. And next, we are going to see construction of dial vernier caliper. The resemblance of a dial caliper is similar to normal vernier caliper but with additional construction of a rack mounted over the beam scale which is engaged to a pinion of the dial the dial pointer is actuated by the movable action of vernier slide unit fixed with dial gauge the caliper dial on the movable jaw is graduated into 100 equal divisions the hand of the dial makes one complete revolution for each 5 millimeters. Therefore, 
Each dial graduation represents, 1 by 100th of, 5 mm or 0.05 mm. The dial hand is, operated by a, pinion, that engages a, rack on the beam. Dial calipers are, available in various sizes, like, vernier calipers. A dial caliper width, 0.02 mm, accuracy is also available. And the next, we are going to see how to read a measurement in dial vernier caliper. Read the beam scale reading 25 mm and at the reading shown by the hand of the dial. 24 into 0.05 is equal to 1.2 mm. Reading is equal to 25 plus 1.2 mm is equal to 26.2 mm. And the last of this topic is care and maintenance of dial vernier caliper. Clean the dial caliper with a soft cloth before use. Apply a small drop of oil to the beam, rack and pinion of the dial caliper to slide freely. Check calibration of dial caliper. Make sure that it is working correctly. After using dial caliper, wipe it with a Clean dry cloth. Apply a thin coating of oil on sliding parts and keep it in safe place. With the remembrance of dial vernier caliper topic, we are going to play a quiz game. The question is What is the part marked as X? The options are A. Fixed jaw. B. Dial hand. C. Caliper dial. D. Beam scale. And the answer is B. Dial hand. With this, we are completed the part 2 of week number 11. Thank you.